Yo, what's up guys? Cats Blast back with another Queen Pop Laloon and uh, viewer request big time. Uh, this is the AD Island made by Clash Tutor. I'm going to throw up her link, also a link to the video. Awesome content creator. Um, great channel. You guys probably already know her. Uh, if you don't, make sure you check out that channel. Subscribe. Build some great bases. This base, the AD the Island, has been asked by many of you to be featured. Um, so I told my clan, hey, can someone please make this base? And uh, let's let's pick it apart and see where it's strong, where it's weak, and give some feedback on it. Um, so I let her know we're going to make this video. And the first night, uh, we just threw three attacks at it. And um, not trash talking at all or downplaying the base, um, but it three started every possible way. So thought I'd throw the video up. We didn't dig really further into the base after uh, that first night, and I grabbed a couple replays. Um, but like I said, big thanks for letting me uh, test this out. Make sure you check out our channel and the whole design. This base was used heavy in the CWL, you know, Clash War League. If you guys haven't checked that out, make sure you check out too. Um, I have a bunch of friends that stream it on Twitch. Uh, so make sure you get on there and follow those people. Scott Toria, you know, King of the North, just get on Twitch, follow anyone that streams Clash Clans, guys. Um, a bunch of good content creators there. So the whole point of this base is designed, and we're hitting it. it has both level 30 heroes. Everything's maxed out um, except some expos, but that's not really a problem once you watch how how quick Queen Pop goes through this base. Um, but the point is, you know, the AD Island, you got these separated air defenses, um, some of them overlapping. Well, remember with Queen Pop, we're going to take one out. So everyone in my clan basically looked at it the same way. We took out that air defense um, and it just it simply worked beautifully uh, it doesn't really matter what's in the CC the CC I see as a a downfall because you can easily pull it with one loon and if it's an air uh, troops which we did you know pull them to the side and take them out with your queen if nothing pulls out and it only attacks ground troops don't even worry about it um, I repeat you know try to test it with a loon and nothing pulls go to town so mini me here he's gonna have a, a, a pretty cool run he doesn't even use his queen he takes his king and you know after testing the CC he zaps out this air defense and then he's gonna go around the base ending on the queen and then just throw his king and since he doesn't have a queen he takes dragons along with him um, now that's used if something pulls out of this CC he's gonna pull it to the side use his king as kind of a, a shield and then kill the CC with a dragon. That's how he takes care of Queen Pop when he's not using his queen, when his queen's upgrade. And he's great with it. So we'll go through his attack, go through my attack, and, and just watch the sheer destruction of this base. So he takes it out, um, you know, goods, good parts and bad parts. That does leave two whiz towers and two archer towers you know basically free to shoot anything coming by him so you got to make sure you kind of take care of that but he's starting to come in he throws the hound across the face of some top defenses and he comes in with three hounds strong and a bunch of loons um there is a bunch of traps up north and you can see that even pulled all those skelly traps up he brings his next hound in as that uh, second air defense starts firing on him and he just uses a haste up top that haste is to get everything moving and i know he wants to save both his rages for the bottom where the queen is and i suggest that no matter which way you decide to pick apart this base save the rages for the bottom where the queen is um you can see there is a lot of houndage alive right here. So he's throwing that second rage over the queen um, so the pups can kind of coagulate on her. And she's gone. She's gone right there. Simple as that. His king didn't even need to do anything. Uh, the queen was shredded by those pups under rage. Uh, other loons take care of the north section. And you can see his king and the drag that was thrown there to maybe clean up the queen or for the CC troops in the beginning, they didn't even do anything because that queen was just playing gone. So a bunch of bowlers pulled out of the CC. I told this guy to start off the night with, you know, some real drag CC troops, but guess he just had his war troops ready. Um, but that's simple. It, now it's just clean up. He's got a bunch of pups. Uh, he's got that drag that 
would have been used to kill CC loons and one full hound still alive. Now that can be detrimental as a lot of you know, keeping a hound alive. You, you want the hounds to blow up for pups or have some sort of cleanup troops because uh, those pups play a big role in your cleanups. I also like to save a couple loons maybe back end and I'll have some videos coming up where I show you how I use like one or two loons to make sure the base gets cleaned up. So that's a three star. Let's check out my thoughts and my way of taking apart this base. So here we're looking at the same base, right? And uh, my thoughts, you know, you want to get everything funneled down south at the same exact time. You got both of these sweepers, you know, trying to mess with you, blowing up. But you got to finish on the queen. If you cannot put the queen, say if the queen's here, you know, you can stick her in a triangle, trapping the queen in the triangle. A lot of you guys are like, what's that? Well, if she's between two air defenses, you know, and you put hounds there, she's stuck. She's focused in on the hounds and you can run over her. That's kind of trapping her. But since you can't trap the queen or triangulate her, you have to end on the queen. If it means going into blowers, that's what you got to do. Always step one, test the CC and pull it. You know, if it's a CC, kill it. You know, step two, you, you got to get the queen trapped or ended on and just separate your loons and, and get the job done. This is how I did it. So I choose, you know, I actually started filming late but i already hit the earthquake down you can see the cc radius and the queen's right beside it the cc is pretty easy to pull i pick the top air defense uh to to take out and the reason being with these sides left there i can cross the face of both of these defenses on the side turn them and get everything headed down south even though some of the air defenses are going to be overlapping. But you can see I'm testing the CC. Nothing pulls out. All right, no worries. I won't use my heroes to beat the bays then. You'll watch. I'll just throw them in at the end up top. But I'm crossing the top face of the defenses. And then I'm crossing the sides. And I'm bringing everything to collapse in at the same time. I mentioned in the past there's a circular or a snowplow method. Since this is basically a triangle base, very symmetrical, I'm using the snowplow method. And that means you just want to take, imagine that fork up top is a snow plow. So if these loons are a plow that's, you know, scooping in, they're going to push through the base at the same time and end at the same same spot. That's the snow plow method. And that's what we're using here. So we're taking everything down. I throw a rage in at the left because I notice one hound popping and a haste at the right because I want those both to basically go down at the same time and start pushing towards the bottom. So here come my hounds at the bottom. I'm getting hit by both the sweepers. And you can see I'm just holding that rage in my pocket, waiting for everything to get close to the queen. Because when they do, that rage will help the pups and the loons fly past her and kill her. So here come a giant horde of pups. Look at those loons. That's a giant balloon parade coming to rain down pain. So they take out those, those towers. They take out the Teslas. They even took out the king accidentally. And there's the queen. There's a bunch of pups and more loons than you can possibly count and everything is fried so now i just throw my heroes up top because i know to you know they are just simply not needed um with that overpowering method that was a level 30 queen gents a level 30 queen going into the blowers on a base that is anti-air um it's anti-air because they don't want you to get to these towers right but you're taking a tower out to begin with. So here's a giant gap in defenses. The next defenses are on this outer ring. Well, if you clean them at the same time, you snowplow them, you're getting the next closest defenses are the air the air defenses. So even though it's like, oh, you can't get to them. Yeah, snowplow straight past them, boys. You will get the job done. It's as simple as that. There's the three star. Um great base design i appreciate every content creator out there guys and please do not think i am downplaying talking trash about anyone i didn't even use my hero abilities till the end didn't even need them to clean up but it's as simple as that guys this this 
attack works. Read the base, figure out the method you want to do to it, the best way to either trap the queen or end on the queen, and get the job done. You have to do the step. You have to pull the CC. No matter how many troops it takes, you have to pull the CC. After that, it, it's time to level the base. So I very much appreciate it. Like I said, big thanks, Class Shooter, for letting us try this out. Um, guys, make sure you check out her channel. Uh, give her a follow. Tell her thank you. And um, yeah, ask me any questions. You got them. Make sure you're following me on Twitter at cast and blast underscore C-O-C. I'm always glad to do these types of videos and I'll check you guys next time.